Well, Neil Hardley, your second new signing of the summer is in. Tell us all about Mr Reeves. Yeah, Jake's obviously a player I've worked with before um, at Wimbledon. Um, I, I signed him on loan initially from Brentford, then permanently. Um, you know, he helped me win promotion from League Two. Uh, was a mainstay in the team really for three years. And, uh, you know, at a point when we was in League One, um, you know, when Bradford came and paid money for him and signed him from us, he was, you know, seen as potentially, and I thought he was one of the best midfielders in, in League One. So, uh, you know, I know what I'm signing, know what I'm getting. He had a, you know, a, a sticky time with a, an injury that took longer to heal than it should have done, but he's fine with it now. But that hindered his time at, at uh, Bradford. So, you know, I feel like we're getting a midfielder who, if I'm honest, I thought we had to get promoted to be able to get. So to not get promoted and still convince him to come, uh, I, I'm absolutely delighted. What attributes does he have that? Gave he gave you the idea that he was one of the best midfielders in League One. Um, a number of things. He's got incredible, incredible engine. Um, you know, I talk about the fact that Doyley can run all day, and he's got that engine. Jake Reeves is very similar. It would be a very good, very, very interesting pre-season to watch them two together. But the incredible engine, um, technically very good. Wants the ball all the time. Uh, you know, at Wimbledon, he was the, the the link that put our team together. You know, he was the one that made us tick. And, uh, you know, I want him to always work on him affecting all three thirds of the pitch. Uh, and he, he can do that. You know, he could play if we wanted him to play as a four, he could play as a four, as an eight. He can play in, in all the midfield positions. Um, he's a winner, wants, wants to win, wants training to be at the right standard, you know, and I know what I'm getting. And uh, like I say, I believe he's, he's one of the, you know, the better midfielders in League One. If we can get him back to that, that form, we've got a very good player. Plenty of fire in the engine room then. Jim O'Brien, Michael Doyle and him in central midfield so far. Yeah, and, and again, you know, you, you can even add Ruben into that category because Ruben could play as an eight as well, should we want to, as well as playing in more advanced positions. So, you know, and, and who knows if we'll stop there. It's, it's an important position and the likelihood is with the schedule is that we're going to end up Saturday, Tuesday, probably all the way through till Christmas at, at the least. You know, the, the the schedule was condensed last season and we're probably going to have a month less this season So with the same fixtures. So we're going to need that strength in depth, particularly in the engine room. Touched on earlier, Jake had a bit of a sticky time with injuries at Bradford or one particular injury which kept him out for a full season mm -hmm. and a little bit more. How confident are you in the club that he's put that behind him? Well, he's had a medical. He played the last 15-odd <clears throat> games for Bradford last season on a very, very heavy pitch. Um, he's, um, you know, it was one of them, the, the diagnosis and the treatment of his initial injury probably made it longer than it needed to be. And that's something that is in the past now when it happens. And, uh, you know, Marco's, we've done the medical, we've, we've looked him over, we know what we've got. And I've watched all the games that he played in the back end of last season and I see the same Jake Reeves that I had moves the same runs the same same incredible energy and tempo on a, on a poor pitch and I'm very very confident that not only have we got that player but, but we'll make sure that he gets even stronger